Hello y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please do make sure you are subscribed because subscribing is free. And also please do make sure you hit the notification bell so you do not miss anything every time I upload. Welcome you guys, it's been a while. And we're gonna get ourselves some to drink and get ourselves comfortable. Because yeah, Zin, I in that was Ning, and I know I've been away for so long. They were talking about Likao and all the drama that he has been subjected to with all these people on the interwebs. So there's been a story that broke. They're talking about he's going through a divorce with his estranged wife, and it's just messy as hell. So they say here, it is reported that Machaba wants a share of the business since she allegedly contributed to its success. Meanwhile, Sihoana si, si disagrees and wants to give her nothing except for the divorce papers. We are married out of community or property. This person uh, ill-treated me at my lowest as soon as I started making money. Mm -hmm. Things changed. We stayed, but the marriage didn't work out. And I moved out. She is she is a divorced fugitive. <laughs> Damn. The sheriffs tried sending her salmons eight times, but she changed her numbers 100 times. Holy hell. So this woman out here, she's out here doing the most with all her shenanigans, all right? So that's just that story alone. And then they've been reporting that one of his... um. One of his his brands in in the group of drip right if i'm just correct me if i'm not saying this correctly uh one of it is called kitties the kitties brand that is being liquidated and i've seen videos on social media people taking videos inside the shop um, you know, a lot of people were just devastated. People that work here that work there, darling. And uh, I have a video right here just. Guys, tough, guys, it's so very tough. This is it. Going to the back, uh, back room. So yeah. Well, uh, drip today they po they put out a statement uh, for kitties. The statement says they released it talking about you know they have all of these ideas for businesses or other ventures and sometimes in business you know you learn and you move forward some business ideas that you have they may not work out as much as you thought that they would okay so that's one of the things that they are explaining there please it's a long story it's a long letter girl you can pause and read it for yourself and he and the uh, Likao himself he also put out a statement i think this was on um what is this what is uh, Facebook? I don't know who still uses Facebook in this day and age, but here we are. So he that he did talk about drip is not liquidated because that's what everybody out there, all them jealous trolls, honey, they were all happy and celebrating, thinking that drip is shutting down, and he's like slamming those rumors, telling them that it's not shut down. But let me tell y'all, okay, I I know. Where he went wrong. If all of these things are happening to him, it's courtesy one. Ganjan, the fix. Ganjan. I remember he had posted a video on his Twitter pages. He was having a good time. He went to Limpopo and to go see his family there. I mean, family's family, y'all. Okay. Some families are happy for you to see you. Me and my family, I don't even know where I live. I don't tell nobody. I don't trust nobody. So there's a video that he, he posted. I'm going to show you this video and I'll comment after. So this is the video. He's having a good time seeing family. But what if? What if, just what if, Uguti, there's some people that don't like seeing 
another black man succeed. There's other people that don't like to see you succeed and be happy and dance. This group, huh? This crowd, this type of crowd. What if you know, and now all of a sudden, all of these things are happening to this guy. You guys don't think that some speech, Bina, I don't trust, yeah, Limpopo crowds, y'all know yourself, y'all know. Even the people that are from Limpopo, they don't trust them people from there, huh? You don't trust nobody. You don't trust family members. That family don't even know my number. They don't even know my real name. I changed my real name so that they don't even find me on them Facebook or Twitter pages and all of them crap. Hmm? These people thought that he was out here selling eggs and now he's coming there with all this money. This is all alleged. This all this news has never been confirmed. We don't know if this happened for sure. We're just trying to figure it out. And then they probably liked him when he was at his lowest, when he was drinking and then just falling asleep while he was drinking. Mm -hmm. And now they see you, you're clean. You've got your life together. And the Bona, they're just suffering. They got no money. Because the mentality of people from Limpopo, this is the, what they like. They like you when you're at your lowest. They won't even help you. Even your blood, your blood relatives, like they, they don't, they, oh, you guys don't know. You guys don't know. Don't trust nobody. Just don't trust nobody. And they're knowing that he's out there selling eggs. And now he's coming there with those fancy cars. But now, not not and then you never know you never know because they're out there they're jealous as hell they've never they've never even done anything for themselves you know he's out here living his best life posing with the likes of you know jay-z lil wayne and all of them not knowing that this picture is photoshop they think this is real these people from Limpopo, they think this is real. This is a real picture. And then all of these things is happening to this guy. Don't y'all think that maybe all of these things is connected? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all, don't trust nobody. Don't trust your family. Change your name if you can. You know, it's so sad that some people can't live their life the way they intend to live their life because y'all were scared out there no y'all don't even know my real name i'm go not gonna tell y'all my real name oh i'm not gonna do that i ain't gonna do that i'm gonna show you what i have what i ate what i live because that gang you, those people, mm -mm. hey, 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 by a sabisa labant lab, basa basa bisa. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I'm praying for you, like how I hope everything is all good. I know it's all good. We're just out here having a good time. I know that all of these things say not real. This is not confirmed. As I said, nobody knows this is this happened to him. We're just out here trying to figure it out for this man. I mean, he's a very successful man. I love his story. He's the way that the, the drip, they call it the drip story. I love it. I, I feel and hope that they make it into a movie one day because it's such a special story. Like, you know, from rags to riches, that is the classic rags to riches. You, and, you know, like down and out and there you are, you're a millionaire. And then somebody else want to tarnish your life and they want to take your money away. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you again on my next one. Ciao now.